Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios. I am preparing to do a pour on a 12, no, I'm sorry, 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I have a commission that I'm working on. So these colors work for my client. So we're going to give them a shot tonight. Um, four colors. Uh, this pretty green color here is a combination of Artist Loft metallic leaf green and metallic white. So create a nice pearly light green. This one here is also a custom mix of the Liquitex, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue and Napthal Crimson. And mostly orange with, a, with some red and then also some white to lighten it up a little bit. This nice lavender color or lilac, lilac color is a combination of the Artist Loft Metallic White again, and the Artist Loft Metallic Purple. This gorgeous teal here is Montmart Paints, and that is a combination of the Sap Green, just a little bit of that, because it really takes over, and some of the Ultramarine Blue. Normally I would use the um, Thalo, yeah, can't even talk now, Thalo Blue and Thalo Green, but I'm out of those. So, um, make to do with what we have. So yeah, mostly blue on that one with a little bit of green mixed in. And then this is just the Montmart Titanium White. I also have a couple extra cups here of the Titanium White because I'm going to put a puddle down first and then I have extra for edges and corners if I need it. All right, so we'll get started layering cups as soon as I get these cups ready. So I have two just in case and I'm trying to find a clean spot here. I did another pour earlier, so I've got paint all over the place. All right, so I might actually, no, I'm gonna do a little cup because if I don't like it, then I can pour right on top of it. All right, so I'm gonna start, um, I'm sorry, all my paints were mixed all the colors were mixed one-to-one -one with a pouring medium of 70% Elmer's Blue All and 30% water. Except for my metallics, I gave those um, one and a quarter parts pouring medium to one part paint because those metallics are so thick. I end up getting a lot of green in the bottom of that cup. We'll see how that works. And then I wanted something between the purple and the green. So to finish off with a dollop of that nice light green. So I'm just going to pour this in the center. This white is mixed one to one with 65% Elmer's Glue All, 40% water, or excuse me, 35% water. Get it right, Dawn. 
so I wanted it a little bit thinner than my colors for the pour itself because I want those paints to be able to move over this puddle easier. Okay, set that cup off to the side and I'm just going to do a straight pour right in the center. spread out a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to do a straight pour right in the center and give my cup a little squeeze, get down as close as I can. And just let the paint do the work. Lots and lots of blending with those lines, those those stripies. So cool. So cool. Um I even love the blending that happened in here. Well, too. All right, let me just get my knife back out. And let me get a paper towel. Get my knife back out. And get some of these corners. They didn't quite get covered. Think so. That one had white on it. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Wowzers! What do you guys think? turned out so good. Oh my gosh. I love the blending in here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. I don't know if I'm super in love. 
with this one bold white stripe, but I guess it ties in with that area and that area, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to call it good. Give it another torch here. Pop some of those air bubbles. air bubbles pop up. These paints definitely sat long enough. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love that teal. Where the teal and the lighter green met. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous in there. And then the way the coral and that light teal. Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to get you in for a close up. Give me just a second. I'll pause the video while I take you off the tripod. Hold tight. Okay, I gotta be quick here because I think my battery is about to die. But let's get you in for that close up. Check out the striping. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Look at that veining. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Come up to this corner. More of that striping. Gorgeous. That lavender pop peeking out in the corner. Love it around the outside first and then come into the center look at that look at all those colors standing out but blended love it look at that that coral and the light green coming together and then the coral and the teal and the lavender oh so pretty this corner. Love the, the lavender and the white coming together there. So awesome. Look at that striping. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's that corner there. I'll come in to the center. Look at this. Look at the striping. That teal and the coral. That teal looks darker on the foam than it is. But wow, look at that. I'm so in love with this spot right here though. Those guys, looks like they're swimming towards each other. Little tadpoles swimming towards each other. And then we come into the center here. I'll kind of angle, angle the phone a little bit. There we go, get it back in focus. But as we come into the center, the coral and that light green, the teal start playing together. Look at that. And there's the, there's the center. Look at that, sorry for the overhead light, but look at the lavender and the teal, almost like it's pulling the orange in, that coral color in. Let's get my overhead light out of the way. There we go. Look at that. Ah, autofocus, come on. Here we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, super cool. And then again here, right to the left of the, <laughs> to the left of the overhead light reflection. So cool, you guys. Oh my gosh. What do you think? 
Do you love it? Oh my gosh. You guys, as always, thanks for spending your time with me. I super appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.